Okay, so we're done with the Section 5 hands-on tutorial for indoor lighting. Let's proceed now to Section 6, the lighting design presentations. This section has been suspended for so long now. And I would like to thank Miss Christine Bitonio for keep on following up about this section. Thank you, Christine, for being so patient about it. Okay, so let's proceed now with this Section 6, Lighting Design Presentation. Okay, so start. Let's go and check this one. So this is the Matic Facade Lighting Design. I did this one a few years back. And this is a combination of facade and landscape lighting. And I did everything in Photoshop only. Okay, so how are you going to do this presentation? Okay, let me just run a simulation first or presentation on this one. So just press F5 and then you can play it automatically. So I'm not touching anything. Or you can play it like per uh, pages. Like you need to press... Um, arrow down every time you want to change the page okay so this is how it looks it's just one picture and i did the concept for the facade and the landscape lighting all right i think i posted this one uh, if, um, in my youtube channel for so many times now Okay, and you can just loop it out again back and forth with the play of the facade if you have, if you want to play with the facade lighting. All right, so how are you going to do this one? It's very easy. You just need to collect all those pages. This is every picture that you created in your Photoshop. Okay, so let's go and check this one. So this is the, the landscape lighting that we did. And we will do this one in this PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so make sure you have your PowerPoint software to do this one because you cannot do it without your PowerPoint. So I'll go now, file and new. And then I'll open a blank presentation. And I will click either the title. I will say landscape lighting design presentation okay and then i'll say uh, nel caroco as the presenter or you can put your date and then you will just press this layout as either a uh, title only or two content or a title and a picture content so go and check this one and make sure that you know how to use powerpoint but of course even if you don't know just follow this one that i'm doing right now oops control z so I just press enter first, okay, and then select your layout, okay. So this is the now the new layout. I have two pages now, the, the cover page and the second page. And if I want another page, just press enter and then just enter and then just enter for additional pages, okay. So let's go back now to this Photoshop because this is where going, we're going to get those images and make it like a transition later on, like what we did here in this Manatec facade. Okay, so first, uh, make a plan. What do you want to show on the first pages and what do you want to show at the end of the presentation? Okay, so you can add it later on. So for now, what I'm going to do is I will, I want to show first uh, the original picture of the image that the client say sent us. Okay, I will just turn off all the layers. Okay, actually I can just control A and turn off the, <laughs> the layers here. Okay, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I will just uh save this one and then make this one as uh, my first ever page on my presentation okay so let's go now and file save us and then i will just save it in my desktop and i will say this is number one and then press okay and then what i will do is i will make it dark so this is now dark and yeah just like a dark view so the client will say oh now it's dark <laughs> okay i'll just save it and i will say this is number two 
you, you make yeah make sure you save this one as jpeg sorry i forgot i should make it jpeg so i'll say it number two and uh yeah maximums this is only 186.2 so this is very small picture that's okay press okay and yeah let's save this one again because i did not select the jpeg okay make it this one and then save yes okay and next, what is the next layer that you want to show is probably, um, let's go for this congregation space. So I will say, I will turn on the canopy. Make it dark. And uh, what is the free thing that I'm going to use in the canopy will be, okay, so I will uh, select this. Um, Floodlight, and I will maybe turn this one off. This is the extras. Yeah, okay. And yes, so this is maybe the, 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 the third page. So I'll go file and then save us, and then I'll save as a JPEG, and then number three. Okay, let me say okay. And then the next one will be, okay, I'll go for the bollard. And then I will turn this one on and maybe I can turn on this one now. No, this is for the overall. Okay, so I'll just skip this one and then file and then save us. And then I will save this as JPEG and then number four. And they say yes. And then you keep continue doing it like all the pages that you want to make as a transition in your PowerPoint presentation. So let's go and do it. And then of course, the finale of your design. So you need to open the label like this. And maybe you can add the arrow if you like, but uh, I think it's not good. So let's just have a separate one for this and let's just keep like this and then file save us and then again of course jpeg and then let's say this is number eight and then okay and then okay all right so i think this is now okay but if you want to add the arrow that's fine let's go and make it another uh, image for that one and let's make it number nine Okay, so I save all my uh, created images in one folder and look at this one because one, I, I should put, the, um, why it's refresh. Okay, so let's go and view it first in this Microsoft Office image and see if the transition is okay. There you go. There you go. Okay, and then you will now place this one in your PowerPoint. Uh, software. So let's go now and do it. Go and copy this one. Open your PowerPoint and then just right click and then paste. Press paste here. And then if you think this is uh, a little small, actually you can expand it. If you want to make it bigger, you can do that. You just expand it like this and like that. And of course, if you want to add a header and footer in your design you can also do that but i think okay i think the cover is because we need to have a title here okay so let's put our title to have okay so i just put the title here and if you think this is too small and the title is too big you can also adjust it and of course you can also add your logo here on this side so for example, my logo will be uh, Nel Karopo. So I'll go to my logo, just copy your logo, and then you can just paste it here. Yeah. And then you can either copy this one on the next page so you will not miss or your uh, logo and title will still be there and it will be consistent to the other pages. So what I'm going to do is I will just copy this page okay i think this is too yeah okay and then i'll put it in the middle it will snap in the middle yeah 
Okay, so I'll just copy this one and then I'll paste it. So my logo and my uh, title page will be consistent forever. Okay, so this the next page, I'll just go and replace it. So just change picture and then select it from the file and then go to the desktop where you save your images. So insert, there you go. And then again, copy this one and paste and paste and paste. So if you have nine pages, just keep on pasting and then just keep on changing the images that you uh, created. I will delete this one now because, um, okay, at the end, I will say this is the end title. So I'll just say, thank you for watching or thank you for your time, whatever you want to put here. And then you can put your name or your contact number here. There you go. So this will be the end of your presentation. You can edit this one or if you have a corporate uh, template, you need to use that one. Okay, so let's proceed now. Let's go and uh, replace this picture and then browse it again. Number three. Boom, I love it. Next again, replace, uh, sorry. Change the picture and then number four. Aha. Uh -huh. And then change the picture again. And then uh, number five, and don't forget, I use PowerPoint, I think 2013 version. If you have a late, latest version, I don't think it will be uh, the same, but just go and check this one. It's very easy, just need to press right click and then change the picture here. Okay, number seven, and then number eight. Okay, and then number nine, we can either add this one. This is with the arrow. And then again, go back to the regular time. And then if you want, you can go back and copy this one. And the transition will be like day and then night. And then again, day. You can do that. Okay, so just, so just copy this one again. And at the end, it will be the same. So let's go now and check. Press. Okay, let's just save it for now. Okay, so I will press F5 and okay, I will I need to press it because I did not change the the transition. Okay, so there you go. So this is going to be your presentation, landscape presentation. All right, so that's how easy it is. So you can either save this one as a video or because you see, I have um, MPEG for video here. I'll say yes, I'll save it like that. Or I can save this one as a PowerPoint already, like um, PowerPoint show, like PowerPoint show already. Once the client open it, it will become like a total PowerPoint. They don't need to pick for uh, press anything. So let's go and check. Okay, so these are the videos and the PowerPoint that I saved. So I have the MP4 here and the PowerPoint show. Let's go and check first the PowerPoint video. There you go. So the, the, the transition is a little rough because, yeah. And that also takes time. You can also edit this one later on if you want to make it a little longer or faster, if you like. And if you know how to use the PowerPoint, because of course, this is another software, the PowerPoint. If you want to learn more, you can uh, enroll other courses about the PowerPoint. And there you go. This is a video. And you can now download it into uh, YouTube if you want to show off your portfolio or you can send it to your client and say, this is how it looks. The project will be look like this later on. And these are the fittings that we are planning to propose. And there you go. Okay, the transition is really too rough. It should be smooth transition. Okay, from nighttime, daytime, and again, go back to uh, daytime. And that's it. And then you can also add your data sheets and sample pictures. I will show you later on another uh, PowerPoint presentation where I keep on adding the data sheets and the sample images of the luminaires. 
And yeah, I think this, because it's very important for the client to know what are the fittings to be used. Okay, so let's go now and check this PowerPoint show. So again, it's a PowerPoint software, but you don't need to press anything because it's already, it's a, it's a show like, okay, it's not transitioning. I don't know why. Okay, it should be transitioning. And you can program this one as the slideshow and you can set up a slideshow here. Okay, I will not teach you on how to use the PowerPoint slideshow, but you can go and check that one later on. Okay, so that's it for our PowerPoint presentation. And I hope that you learned something today. So just keep on um, practicing your Photoshop. And the next topic will be using the GIF animation. Okay, I'll see you again on the next lecture. <music>